Do you like saving your hard earned money? Have you watched video after video and watched guru after guru in the audio world telling you that you need to have these specially treated rooms? Well, here's a great picture to take a look at. Well, guess who that's made by? Oralax? People that make the acoustic foam? Of course they're telling you that one. What about a special vocal booth just to make sure you get that perfect take? Well, here's a great picture of one. Here's my question. Am I voting for the next election or am I making some music? What's going on here? How about whatever the hell this thing is? $200? Are you insane? It is foam. It's foam. All right. So we need to have a big talk about how to get that professional sounding audio and what that secret is. And really, it comes down to clean audio at the beginning. Maybe let's have a think on that. Hey, everybody, and welcome to today's episode. Today, we are going to talk about how to clean up your audio and get that professional sound. Make sure that it's sounding the best it can. We're just going to get right into it. So the real, real thing you need to take away from this, first and foremost, is that there is an accumulation of sound over t- over the number of tracks when you're making a song that can really, really make everything sound just horrible and, and just terrible and really unprofessional. And especially in the beginnings of the songs and in the songs when it's like the very beginning buildup, there's one instrument or two instruments or just a vocal part. And that ending, when it's either a fade out or you have one inst- like one guitar just hitting one one big chord and letting it ring out, those are those moments that you don't want anything in the background that's going to pull you out of that moment and take away from all that work you've done and the emotions that you're trying to convey. So today we're going to talk about some plugins that are available to help you do that, to make sure that you're getting the best and the only sounds you really want before you start doing all the compression, the EQing or anything like that. And also how this step and what we're doing today can help you save so much money with not paying for any of that acoustic treatment or any of those other gadgets or stupid things that people keep trying to sell to you when you don't need that kind of stuff. So let's just start with what's available to you. I mean, the plugins out there for doing this kind of noise reductions are innumerable. There's so many and there's great ones. They're on every different kind of price point. Uh, there, I, just off the top of my head, there is there's Waves X, there's Waves Clarity. Both of those do great noise reduction. Uh, Antares, you know, who does uh, Auto Tune, they have uh, Sound Soap, and that scrubs up your audio pretty good. Uh, Steinberg has something called I wrote it down just in case uh, Spectra Layers. I've never personally used it, but I've heard some great things about it. There's a free one out there right now in a beta version uh, called Goyo, G O Y O. And that's, I think, free through October 31st. If you're watching this as it airs uh, right now, uh, October 31st, 2023. Anytime after that, I believe there's going to be a a payment for that, as there usually is. But there's so many great options out there that you can research and find one that works for you. Today, we're specifically talking about Isotope, which is a company that I absolutely love. But the big thing about this one and and why I'm going to recommend it on top of an additional recommendation on it, is that it does everything top notch and quickly and effectively and whatever AI they're using to make this thing pick out the background noise is working fantastically. Um, The other thing that I said I was gonna add on top of that is of course, I almost never recommend a a subscription just because I feel like it pulls away from the income and the, the money you have to put towards putting your money, your music out there, advertising your music, uh, getting new equipment to make better music. I always kind of feel like subscriptions just really drain your money really fast without you knowing where all your money went. But this one, I guarantee is worth it. And here's why. One, we get the, the noise reduction that we're talking about and they have included with their subscription, you get the guitar one that focuses on any kind of guitar noise. Uh, like squeaks or, you know, that when you're scraping across the strings, it'll take that out of there. And the picking sound, if it's too aggressive, it know, it can pick that out and <laughs> double pick. Um, it can take that noise, pull it out. 
or at least pull it down so it's not so bad. And there's ones that are aimed at your voice, either, you know, doing dialogue such as this that I'm doing right now or doing vocal singing. It's directed right at that until it goes right for the voice, pulls out anything in the background that you just don't need. And, and there's so many more. You can DS. It can also uh, clicks. It's It's got a thing just for clicks. And you wouldn't think that that's such a big deal. But when you do your own dialogue editing, as I've had to do many, many times, you start to notice the kind of noises that pick up and you kind of learn more about yourself than you really wanted to. But those noises can take away from people focusing on the message that you're trying to get across. So that's just the cleanup that you get with your subscription. I believe it's $20 or 20, I believe it is $20 a month, but you know, don't go check for yourself. Um, but that's just the RX. It also includes other great ozone. If you're doing any kind of mastering of your own work, it is fantastic. And again, another, another thing that's got AI built into it, it'll just listen to your music and give you a great recommendation, a great starting place for you to master your own music. I mean, you can't beat that. Uh, I know it's got a sculptor on it. It's a tool I use, especially when it comes to vocals and it's just not sitting right in the mix. You can just sit there and move a slider up and down and get that. If it's too nasally, pull it back. If it needs a little more presence, add a little more presence and it sits right on top of that mix, right where that vocal needs to be, right in front of everybody. There's so many more tools I just don't want to get into right now because we're focusing on one. But as a recommendation, I would say, please go out there. If you're going to pay a subscription, that's what you should pay for. So we've talked about uh, Isotope and the RX and the, and the noise reduction we're going to use. But now let's move on to some examples so you can actually hear what it does. And then I'll show you how to use it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little field trip out to the highway right outside our studio so you can get a good example of what that sounds like and what we're dealing with. And before we even just attempt to touch any audio. And I did run this through my caption Reader, so that I use for all my social media. So if, if you want to go see our Instagram and we always put tips and stuff on there, go ahead and take a look at that. But it's got the captures on there so you can hear what I'm saying, but you'll get a good idea of what's going on and what we're facing with these this noise that we have to deal with on a daily basis here. Um, right after we do that, we'll come back into the studio and we will talk about what we're going to do. We're going to record some open mic guitar, just acoustic guitar. Real simple, and you'll get to hear unprocessed before we do any of the uh, noise reduction on that. And then we'll do a processed version so you can hear that. And then, of course, it'll walk you through the steps on how to get a sound sample of your room so you can get the right kind of background recording so it knows what to focus on, what to pull out of your audio. That's going to be on there. And after we do that, I'm going to walk you through exactly on the computer, take you into the DAW, show you how we just step-by-step step, real quickly pull that audio up, focus on what we need, get the sample, and then clean up the audio. And then it'll show you exactly how to use it step-by-step step right there. After that, we will come back here and we'll just do a little talking more about what we've done and what we can learn from that. And I'll give you a little audio dialogue version so you can hear that too. So you're going to get two versions of examples here so you can really hear how much of this stuff makes a difference. So let's walk outside, take that field trip and we'll get going. Hey everyone, just dealing with this highway here is what we're talking about today. Uh, all this noise, all this extra sound, you're probably having a hard time understanding what I'm saying even. And it really makes a big difference as to how, what your final product comes out how it sounds and if this background side noise is starting to bleed into your microphones and add up it really really hurts you so here's a good sample of what that sounds like so that we can have kind of a baseline of where we're starting at so let's go take a listen to that so here we are and you're hearing me right now directly through this microphone as you normally do and we're going to do a quick demonstration using just a, an acoustic guitar, whatever you'd be using an open mic for. And all open mic means is that anything that would be just an open room or an open space with the microphone not directly in front of something like a distorted guitar or something directly plugged into your to a recording device or your audio interface. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna play you a very simple uh, chord progression on a guitar with this open mic. 
it is facing right now towards that highway that makes all that noise. And although I've stated it many times about weaponizing your microphone and using the back of the capsule to push away sounds that you don't want, which I always do in my own studio, today we're facing it right out there so you can get an idea of worst case scenario without any soundproofing what you can do with these noise cleaning uh, plugins and all these different AI things we have now. So, without any further ado, I'm going to play this thing twice through. Not personally, I'm just going to play it the first time. And you're going to hear the first time with the just unprocessed audio, uncleaned. And then we'll talk about it, and then we'll play the cleaned audio. So, let's go through that. Here we go. So, the first step when you're going to make an audio recording with an open mic and you know that you're going to be cleaning the sound later is make sure that you get a sample of the sound of the room so I will sit quietly for just a couple seconds here one make sure that I'm picking up some of the cars and trucks going by on the highways because I know I want to capture what that frequency is and make sure that the the plugin is pulling that out and also I have stage lighting for my camera work here that makes a little bit of a buzz so I want to be able to hear that as well so I'm just going to be silent for about 10 seconds to make sure I have a good sample. So here goes. Perfect. So the important part is that I knew I wanted to make sure that the frequencies that sound of the cars and trucks passing behind me right now. I wanted to make sure that I captured some of those great sounds that I know that it's going to be able to hear and reference as I'm, I'm doing this. So we've got all that. Let's get right into playing. All right, now I'm just going to walk through how we did this, do a little voiceover on how to functionally do this in your DAW to clean up the sound. So from the very beginning here, we're just talking about identifying where the sound is and, and what the problem areas are going to be. So using the spectral denoise from Isotope, I and kind of sectioning it here and I, I've located a spot on the waveform where I can tell we've got some good background noise from the room itself and I could tell that by that little bump in the waveform that's where we were going to have the cars so right now I'm just letting the plugin learn from the sample that we gathered and it's got a good little understanding of where it's at I'm moving it over so it knows what artifacts to go for to pull out of the sound and then I'm just moving it around to where I can tell it's encapsulating all of that background noise but still keeping the sounds coming through that I want the vocal speaking and then of course the guitar later at this point I'm showing you the one of the best functions what is it it, it plays just what is being filtered so you can hit that output noise only and that thing is amazing. It just plays exactly what's being pulled out of the sound. So you can hear, if you're hearing your voice dip into that, that means you've gone too far. And that's clearly what I did here. So it was time to go back, focus on 
my voice and refunction it back into there, pull that voice back down under and then shape it again to where it's still pulling the noise out, but letting all my voice come through and making sure that I am filtering out only what I don't want, keeping what I do want. And this is just that little touch and go. And the thing that you learn a little bit over time, it just takes trial and error and, and learning it. But uh, once you kind of go through all these steps and you do it enough times, it takes about, I'd say a minute, two minutes, and then you're set. And especially if you're doing multiple recordings, uh, that's it's fantastic. It just does such a great job of filtering out everything. If you used it for vocals, guitar, whatever, you already have that noise set, ready to go. You can just apply it to all of them and go from there. Let's go back and talk a little more. All right, we're back now, and you've now got a walkthrough. You've heard a great example with the guitars. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to give you that vocal one I was talking about. You're going to hear a great example of that. So right now, I'm going to snap my fingers, and you're going to hear uh, just how it sounds when I don't do any of the editing with the noise removal and any of that kind of stuff. So there you go. Plain audio, just... Just the microphone and me, no, nothing else. Everything in the background you're going to be able to hear. There's some buzzing from our studio lights. There's just the room itself. Uh, any passing cars, you're going to hear those for sure. Uh, and those kind of things just really can take somebody out of the moment. I'm trying to help you with something and teach something. But it's really hard to focus when you can hear noises that are pulling you out of that, it just, it's, it sounds unprofessional. You're like, I can't trust this person. It just sounds like crap. They don't know what they're talking about. So let's get back into, there we go. There's some great audio to listen to. All right. <laughs> okay. No more sexy voice. I'm sorry. I just thought that'd be a good little trick. But we're back to our clean audio and sounding a lot better, a lot cleaner. And I can really get the message across without having to distract you with what's in the background. What's all that crappy noise? So there's some great examples that you have of what noise reduction can do for you and why it's so important and why I would recommend if you're going to do a subscription with any service, Isotope's a great one to do. Um, from there, that really should be all you need to know. If you have any questions, please put them down below. Um, that's really all we have so from there if, if this has helped do it all please just give us a subscribe uh watch any of the other videos i mean you guys have really been hitting that subscribe button lately so it's really been helpful thank you so much really makes a big difference give us a like if, the, if you like the video share it with anybody you know that might get any use out of this because that's all we're trying to do so until the next one thank you guys so much bye